In this chapter, we'll be testing the exporter by adding textures to a cube and then exporting it for the Giants editor. Using the link below the video player, you can download an archive of all the important files you'll need for this tutorial. After the download is finished, we can then copy the archive to our desktop and unpack the contents. The created folder contains two PNG files and a point blend file. The blend file can be opened with Blender. The scene depicts a grey cube, which we will now texture and export. First we need to create the UV coordinates for the cube. To do this we switch into the UV editing view and then choose Edit Mode. Now we switch to the Shading UVs tab and select Cube Projection from the Unwrap menu. As we can see in the left half of the picture, the UVs have now been created. We can switch back to the default view and select Object Mode. Now we can create the material for the cube. For this we go into the Properties window and select the Texture tab. Here we can see there's already a default texture. First we change its name to Wood underscore Diffuse and then set the attribute type to Image or Movie. In the Image field above the Open button, we can now specify the path to the image file by double-clicking on the Create underscore Diffuse PNG file. We can then define the correct value for the texture attribute in the Mapping field. In our case, it's UV for the coordinates attribute and UV Map for Map. Now we can set the viewport shading to Rendered and can see that the texture is depicted on the cube. Next we need to assign a normal map to the cube. For this we simply select an empty field under the entry for the existing texture and click the New button. As with the first texture, we'll modify the entries. So we change the attribute type to Image or Movie and then click on Open to specify the file path for Create underscore Normal PNG. We can then define the correct value for the texture attribute in the Mapping field. These are the same as before, UV for the coordinates attribute and UV map for map. But under Influence we now have to set this texture as a normal map rather than a diffuse map. For this we simply untick Diffuse Color and select Geometry Normal instead. Finally we can now export our cube. To do this we activate the Giants i3D tools by first enabling the i3D exporter and then clicking on the little plus sign here at the top right of the viewport. Now in the window that opens, we scroll to the bottom until we reach the Giants i3D Exporter tab. Here we simply click on the Export All button and the i3D file is then stored in the folder on our desktop. We can then load the i3D file by double-clicking it, which opens it in the Giants editor, so that we can take a look at the result. In order to see the cube better, we'll replace the light source we exported from Blender with a new one. Rotating this new light source allows us to see that all the properties of the material were exported correctly.